JB Swift Beats. Alright, sorry about that. Had a little mishap. The battery died. <laughs> but I'm back. Finish up where I was at. Yeah, so we just applied the Wave and Scout butter. I'm brushing it in with my Wave Enforcer right now. 544. You know, I always go over here with the 588. This is the firm side. I like the firm side of this brush because it feels kind of like a medium brush. I'm sorry, not medium, but a premium. A premium brush. Definitely give it a try. I'll buy this one at CVS or Walmart or something like that if you can find it. It's the double sided, so. As I use the firm, I always finish off the soft here. And bam. For a little bit of hold today to be some whipping for me. I've also been using this for my crown session instead of using like Murray's or something like that. Right now, we're gonna This one I'm just gonna go in with the 588. Firm and then soft. And we can do. JB Swift Beats. If I love this uh, 360 whooping pomade because it gives your hair so much control. Like when you when you brush and you have a lot of control over oh, this product, your hair is gonna lay where you put it. That's why you want to make sure that you're using correct brush angles. You know, from your crown when you're brushing. You know, let's say you have a lot of headache in the long run. You pattern the you know develop naturally. We can do. Yep, yeah, so that's the firm side. And now I'm just gonna lay it down with the soft side. It's just wave enforcer today. I think I'm gonna use wave enforcer all day. Preferably these two, but I got a couple more downstairs. These are my two favorite wave and portion brushes. And we can do.
Yep, and then there you have it. And we can do it's your boy Mocab, aka No Better Ways. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit me up in the inbox. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to kick it, hit me on Ubu. We can do a brush test. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about brushology. You know what I'm saying? All about brushing them angles. So. I may go in a little bit more before I rag up, but you know, definitely once you're satisfied with your brush session, you always want to save your progress with your rag, be it a do rag or a su rag or boo boo cap or whatever uh, combination you may be using at the moment. So I'm gonna continue, but I don't wanna keep you guys all day, so I appreciate you guys for watching and have a great day. Peace.